you are distressed notice. that the Ukrainians don't have enough American tanks, every city in the United States has become much worse over the past three years. Yeah. Drive around. There's not one city that's gotten better in the United States. Right. And it's visible. Our economy has degraded. The suicide rate has jumped. Public filth and disorder and crime have exponentially increased. Right. And yet, your concern is that the Ukrainians, a country most people can't find on a map, who've received tens of billions of U.S. tax dollars, don't have enough tanks. Right. I think it's a fair question to ask, like, where's the concern for the United States in that? Well, it's not my concern. Apparently, that guy wants to be the president of the United States. Mike Pence, the former VP under Donald Trump, sat down with Tucker Carlson this weekend at a Blaze event where a lot of the GOP presidential hopefuls sat down with the former Fox News anchor where he gave them some tough questions and Mike Pence folded like a lawn chair. That's because Mike Pence has tiny micro testicles. We already knew that he folded under pressure regarding the 2020 election and it is no surprise that he folded once again. Tucker Carlson asked a very simple question. Why should we be giving tons of money, billions, hundreds of billions of dollars to Ukraine when our cities have terrible problems? We have homelessness issues. We have drug addicted zombies walking the streets. What the hell's going on? Why are we giving billions of dollars when we could be using that money on our own cities? And Mike Pence says, that is not my concern. Tucker Carlson just ended Mike Pence's political career, which was probably already over, but now we know for certain. And here's a clip of Tucker yesterday at the Turning Point Action Conference, where there was a bunch of very notable speakers, and here's Tucker talking about that encounter with old Mike. But if I could make some general observations, which I think are more edifying than just like savaging Mike Pence. Um, I, I think, <laughs> which I'm not going to do, because that would be wrong, and it would be wrong because it's too easy. So it's pretty obvious that the Mike Pence campaign did not have a very good weekend. And you guessed it, the mainstream media, the usual suspects, the Uniparty is putting out puff pieces for Mike Pence trying to sweep this under the rug. Here's an article, an opinion piece in the Wall Street Journal. Notable and quotable, Mike Pence answers Tucker Carlson. Anybody that says we can't be the leader of the free world and solve our problems at home has a pretty small view of the world's greatest nation. No, I don't have a small view of the world's greatest nation, but I don't think we can solve Ukraine's problems with Russia and solve our problems because it's not happening. The problems are not being solved at home. Look at a city like Philadelphia. You have drug addicted, fentanyl addicted, heroin addicted people by the thousands looking like zombies walking the streets of Philadelphia, Kingston, Philadelphia. It is disgusting. There's needles on the streets. People can't walk to work. People can't walk their dog. It is crime infested. It is gross. We have homelessness issues all around this country. And Mike Pence wants to continue sending hundreds of billions of dollars to Ukraine. Why? Because Russia doesn't want NATO encroaching on its borders. Now, I'm not going to get into that because that's a topic for a different video. But it's a very simple solve our problems first and then we solve the rest of the world's issues. But it's not going to matter because Mike, Prince, Mike Pence is not going to be the next president of the United States. Mike Pence on July 11th tweeted, It's humbling to me ever since we announced how many people are going to Mike Pence 2024 to contribute. Well, that turned out not to be true because just a couple days later, on July 9th, Mike Pence tweeted, so grateful to the thousands of Americans who have already donated to Mike Pence for president. We need 40,000 donors to qualify for the first GOP presidential debate. Why is Mike Pence begging for donations on Twitter? Well, that's because the quarter earnings just came out for Mike Pence's campaign, the quarterly donations. Every presidential campaign has to release this 
public information about how much money they have raised. Pence raises just $1.2 million, aides say, in worrying sign for 2024 bid. The notably low figure raises new doubts about Republican voters' enthusiasm for the former vice president, as well as questions about whether he will qualify for the first GOP debate. Mike Pence is probably not even going to be on that debate stage because nobody's donating to his campaign. Why is nobody donating to the Mike Pence for president campaign? Because nobody is going to vote for Mike Pence. He's polling in single digits. Former Vice President Mike Pence has raised a paltry $1.2 million for his presidential campaign, according to two campaign aides, a sum that raises dire questions about Republicans' appetite for Mr. Pence in 2024. Now Mr. Pence's campaign is fighting to qualify for the first televised Republican presidential debate next month in Milwaukee. An aide said he had not yet received donations from 40,000 donors, the threshold required to make the debate stage. In order to qualify for the first Republican presidential debate, you have to have 40,000 unique donors who have donated to your campaign. So, Mike Pence has yet to hit that number, looking like he will not be on that debate stage. If you're not on the debate stage, you're polling in single digits. How the hell do you expect to win the GOP nomination, you're not. And that is just a fact. Mike Pence is not going to be the GOP nomination. Why? Because he's a clown. He is phony. Nobody talks like he talks. Mike Pence sits down when he goes pee. He takes baths instead of showers. And that's no hit on any of you guys out there who sit down when you pee or take baths with rubber duckies and loofahs using women's shampoo. But Mike Pence is not up for the job of President of the United States. And I think most voters agree with me because the prediction markets are trending that way. Look at the odds here. Donald Trump is the clear front runner, followed by Ron DeSantis. Number three is Vivek Ramaswamy, who is surging in the polls. Behind him, you have Glenn Youngkin, who has not even announced for president. Glenn Youngkin has not even announced and is pulling higher than Mike Pence. Then all the way at the bottom, the lowest in this list, this prediction market list, at 3% chance is Mike Pence. Here is a grid. He does not even show up. So you have Vivek Ramaswamy surging, looking like he may even pass Ron DeSantis. Donald Trump leading the pack. Mike Pence is trailing the pack in last place. Probably not going to qualify for the first debate. Tucker Carlson just ended this neocon, uniparty jock sniffer, brown nosers political career. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Everybody turn on the notification so you can get alerted when we post a new video. I love you guys and I'll catch you in the next video. Until next time, peace.